King Class. I am a classic New York street gang historian. I am also a member of the Assassinators. And I am a Sunset Park native, and this is my Brooklyn story. I grew up on uh, 49th Street between 5th and 4th uh, Avenue, which was called Little Vietnam, which was surrounded by gangs prevalently in the 70s and early 80s. On this side, we had a uh, one street gang. And then as we go down, we had the other street gang. And there was war right here. This is war ground. Battleground. Wow, they made this recently. Nice. Nice artwork. Sunset Park had the Turban Saints, the Dirty Ones, La Familia, the Bloody Leopards, uh, Crazy Homicides at one point. Uh, let me see who else. Uh, you had FMDs from Park Slope over here. Uh, you had quite a few gangs. We're right across the street from me on 470. They had their own clubhouse there and they, they were kicking ass. They were called the Together Brothers originally. That was, that was the name. Our Supreme Press, his older brothers were, in tur were Turban Saint members. You know, I don't know if some of them sprinted into our club and became assassinators, but I know that the name also came uh, from a, a brother from Puerto Rico. When, when, we, when we chose the name, they wanted a, a name that sounded really bad, like a badass name. And I think the brother suggested ass assassinos, which means assassins. So then, then, hence the name Assassinators. We are approaching the block known as Little Vietnam in the 70s, where gangs and drugs ruled. One of the hottest blocks in Sunset Park in, that, in those times. The hottest block, crime, everything happened here. Drugs, prostitution, death, everything. Homelessness, alcoholism, everything. I mean, I was born in 74, so I was like very young, but I do remember seeing, you know, like I said, that were prevalent in the neighborhood. You know, like you didn't have cable or iPads or tablets back then. Yeah, you had TV, but um, the, the action was in the streets. You know, you was out the window looking or you were in the street looking at what was going on. So at this uh, pizzeria spot in 1983 is where uh, my life would have drastically changed. One day eating with my family, after we were done, me and my dad decided to walk ahead. As we walked around to the corner, shots rang out, and an innocent bystander, this young kid who had just come out of a party with his family, was innocently killed. He was a, a product of this violence that was happening in those times in Sunset Park. But uh, if me and my dad would have left sooner, that would have been me and him instead of that kid. And I would not be here to tell you this story or to preserve this history of uh, New York street gangs. Life is so ironic, huh? That's my story. Once that happened, there were protests and like the, the scene really changed over here. People were really tired of, you know, of the senselessness. Just growing up in that environment and then like when I was able to have access to the internet, it just started as a, a profile on AOL. I had my own AOL profile page, so I decided to like, let me put these, this history. So I started with just Sunset Park groups. Then I just had the idea to do a website, and I started adding like Manhattan, Bronx, and stuff like that. Then I had a, a brother mention that we should have a forum, so we should start a forum, which is what I did. Started a forum, and I had everybody come into my forum, you know, uh, meet people that they haven't, uh, reunite with people they haven't uh, seen in years, get in touch with uh, old family members and that were in other parts of the world. It was a good thing, my forum, but um, once Facebook came along, everybody went on Facebook and they forgot about the forum. <laughs> Things have changed now for the better. You know, now we're positive people, we're united people. You know, that was in the past. We try to teach our kids different now, try to live righteously. I mean, the gang history is still here, as you can see by this clubhouse. You know, like, that's not going nowhere as long as people like me preserve it and other brothers, you know, keep pushing. I mean, sunset has changed, you know, everything changes in life. You know, you can't do things that you did back then now. Like, you got big brother everywhere. 
But like I said, now it's all it's all about positivity and like brotherhood and sisterhood. And you know, the main thing is to show your kids a different life, a positive life. They made mistakes and they don't want their kids to go through those mistakes.